All right, class. Uh, today we will use essence to model a 3D elasticity problem. And the object we study is a base pin hold holder system. And there are three parts of it. And we have a base with three legs and a cylind uh, cylindrical uh, shape. Uh, and then the holder goes through the cylindrical part of the base and they use a pin to connect uh, holder and base. Okay, the material used a structural steel. Bonding conditions on top of the holder 100 kilonewtons applied. The ends of the three legs of base are fixed. The problem is study the deformation and stress of each part. The geometry uh, of the three parts are given below. So we will base down the geometry to create the system. And now we go to workbench and start our, our work. We'll, gen we'll create a new one, new project, which will be static structural project, where uh, engineer data for material, we will, because it's the default material, it's a structural steel, will not generate new material. And then geometry, make sure that is a solid body has been chosen and the 3D type has been chosen. Okay, after that, double click geometry and we'll go into space claim to create the object. All right, here we are. Let's first define the unit based on the geometry of the object. So we'll use millimeter. So go to unit, length, type, millimeter. Okay, so the minor grid will use five millimeter. So with that, we'll choose the surface. We'll, we'll use XZ surface to as the ground. So where we will draw the geometry. So first we will draw the uh, the end of the leg, three legs. We have three legs, so the the cross area of the leg is uh, rank, uh, square. So we'll draw square first, and we'll use we'll draw square. We'll use this rectangle, and here I'll choose Cartesian dimensions to help us locate the center look at the center of it. So we'll go all the way to 45. This is the center of the cross area. Oh no. We should locate the edge of the rectangle. So it's a 40 and then go up to by five millimeter. And then we draw the square with 10 by 10 millimeter square and click. Okay, now we have it. We have uh, the cross area of one leg, and then we will map to the other uh, cross area of the legs by using circular pattern. So we have three legs. So here in the option area, we change number to three, enter, and then click on this. This is a uh, we'll use, use this as a pattern template, and then. Y axis will be the, the center of the pattern. Click on it, and then we'll generate three cross areas of the leg, or three legs. So before move, uh, move to other part, don't forget to click the check create to the pattern. Now the three, the three legs has been generated, but it's still in 2D, and we'll pull it out into a 3D. So to do that, we'll click pull. And then click on this, and here we will click on pull, uh, click on Z, oh, click on the cross area, choose this, click on Z, and then move into a 3D, press the, the roller of your mouse, and then click on revolve 
because we will use Z use Z as the revolving center and the pull it up to revolve we will generate three legs so here uh, you can input the number which is 90 degree here we are escape and then that's what we have see we have three legs of the base but for the base there's one more thing we want to add we want to add a, a cylinder in the middle so to do that to draw the cylinder we first need to go to 2d surface to generate a circular shape and then we'll pull it up to generate the cylinder to do that uh, click the sketch mode when you click the sketch mode it will ask you so which plane you want to choose I will choose XZ plane to do that so you click on Y and then XZ plane plane will be selected and then play, uh, choose plan view now here we are and we just circle the inner the outer uh, outer circle is 20 or just 20 diameter inner one is 12 the inner one is 12 okay so now we have uh, the sketch and then we pull it up to pull it up we click pull to this surface and pull it up by the height is 70 okay this is a uh, 70 millimeter height but we only need half of it because this cylinder is uh, 35 millimeter uh, above the ground okay to do that we pull we'll pull up again we still choose this uh, annulus shape and then we'll pull up, pull it up to pull to cut it you can click cut and then pull it up by 35 millimeter and now we have the base okay so if you look at the base and you will see that in in the cylinder is not a hollow so we want to cut the material away to do that we can we can use this the rest of the surface which is inner cylinder circular and you click on it and pull it up and use cut okay when you put it up and cut and cut all the materials uh, on the path so you pull it up let it higher than the base make it higher than the base and we'll cut all the materials through okay so now that what we have and then if you click on the solid here that this solid doesn't doesn't include the three legs and we, I want to merge all of them to merge all of them as under design tab go to combine click on combine and then for this function it has two uh, two functions under this combine function there are two uh, sub functions one is a merge the other one is split okay we want merge not split so to choose a merge and click on merge function sub function and then now you can click on leg 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 and this time at this time if you click solid you will see that the three legs and one uh, cylinder for the base okay so now we have this solid and then we'll generate a holder for it to generate a holder for it so we will move to the second part okay the, which is a holder the holder will go through the base cylinder and with the diameter of the inner side of the base cylinder okay so we'll draw another cylinder but we need to choose a surface to draw a circle first so you can click on the stretch mode and then click on this surface and then we can choose plain view here we can draw a circle or we'll start from center and go up 
uh, go all the way to the inner 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 circle of the base cylinder and click and then we have a circle so you, you can tell that uh, on the structure panel we have a circle okay so we'll pull pull up the circle to generate the holder okay click pull and make move it into 2d mode okay and then click on the surface here and in the option to choose pull both sides because we want generate the holder uh, one side one one direction going to the base holder and one go up so when you pull and we will go both directions the length is 36 that means 18 inside of the base base cylinder okay now we have this we have a hold escape select now we have this we have hold we have holder we have base the next step is we will generate a pin to connect to connect the holder and the base okay so to generate a pin so what we do is we will cut through cut through uh, the base and the, the two cylinders along x direction in the along x direction use a smaller uh, cylinder so to do that uh, again we need sketch and I will choose Y Z plane which by clicking X and here we are on Y Z plane and then we I use a plane view here I will draw a small circle in order to generate the, the pin cylinder I will choose circle and then we use Cartesian dimension to help us to look at the center from the origin of the coordinate go all the way up by 60 millimeter where is the center of the pin click on it and then you can input the diameter which, which is six millimeter all right and then we have it we have a small circle and then we'll, I will pull up the small circle so when you uh, press pull it's a disappear but there's a surface generation the surface is based on the small circle we generated and then you move around and then you pull it before you pull it choose pull on both direction and then pull it out input number 30 and then we have it all right this time we generated a, a solid with three part and to better manage them we want uh, separate the three part and name them separately okay to do that we need to use split body and uh, design tab and then design tab click on split body okay so click on the solid and then after that you cut you cut it one part out I will cut this pin out first once you click on the pin and a new solid generated which is which is uh, the pin so I will first uh, press escape that means I, I will jump out from the uh, split body function and here I will rename it and so if see you click on solid uh, the pin has been highlighted so here you can name it as pin okay now the solid one will contain the holder and the base which will further to cut it will split the body but choose this body first and then I will choose the holder and the holder has been separated and then I will press escape and then we'll jump out from the split body function and then choose solid one and the solid one is the holder now and then right click rename it the holder the rest rename it which is a base then you can crop 
click through it, you will see that the three parts of the system have been generated. And with all of this done, it's time to do the simulation. Okay, let's save it. Control S. We'll name as uh, Design 3. Click. Close. We'll move to the model part. Double click model to launch uh, mechanical modeler. Now here we are, we have this geometry loaded and go to the geometry you see that by default uh, the material has been assigned. All three the all three parts have been assigned structural steel, which is what we want. After that, uh, we need to check the connections because we have three parts. We want to check how uh, define how this three part are connected. So the three part for the first contact region, click go through it for the first contact region, which is the contact between the pin and the holder. And go all the way to type of the contact. And we want to use no separation. Okay, no separation means uh, in normal direction, they are not separated. But on the tangent surface, on the tangent direction, they can slide. So that it can slide, but not allow to separate. So do the same thing for P. This is second one is a P and base, no separation. And the holder and base, no separation. OK, so after that, the contact region has been defined. We go to mesh. And we search sizing. So first, we choose we choose uh, three three part. So use the body filter two three apply three bodies has been assigned, and then go to uh, the element size. So let's check that the millimeter have been used here. So we can use meter. Now let's use a millimeter. Uh, let's use 2.5 millimeter. Okay, and then generate mesh. All right, the mesh has been generated. Looks pretty good. Okay, next step, we'll apply bonding condition. We'll first fix the bottom surface of three legs. So surface filter has been enabled. Control click the three surface apply. Three surfaces have been fixed. Insert one more button condition. Uh, we'll apply force. Apply force. This time the force will be applied on top here. On top of the holder. So make sure that surface has been uh, surface filter has been selected and apply. The force we want to use component, and then so along y direction, it's a negative 1000 Newton. Okay, with the two bottom conditions, we move to solution. So here we'll use def total deformation and wall masses stress. And here, because I want to study, look at the stress of a three part and the deformation of the three part separately, what I do here is I will click on total deformation. In the geometry, I want 
this geometry be so the holder so choose the body okay apply similarly apply on equivalent stress make sure that the body has been filtered click on the holder apply okay uh, well this the total deformation and the equivalent stress will be used for the holder only and we can continue to add one more deformation and one more equivalent stress for total deformation this time I was to choose pin apply stress the stress is on this pin 2 apply okay and the, the last ones will be on the base total deformation equivalent stress total deformation I will choose the base stress on the base 2 so after that you can solve the problem okay see if you look at the, the total stress total deformation or the holder equivalent to stress for the holder P deformation pin stress and the base deformation base stress okay so uh, if you want get rid of the, uh, the meshes you can see that there's no wire and look at it again let's look at the pin I have a closer look that's the deformation of the pin and stress of the pin okay so you can also change the unit to okay so what's the unit we are using meter or oh, millimeter I want to use let's use a meter and then that's will be SI unit can better help you to understand that and this is a holder And this is a pin. All right, that's all what we have for today, and we'll stop here.